Reptiles are genuinely captivating creatures, with some possessing distinct beauty. The scaly individuals highlighted in this video stand out from the rest. Dive in to discover the world's most unparalleled exotic reptiles. Number 6. Sidewinder Snake What's that? You want to hear about a less venomous snake that's still pretty exotic? Well, how about the Sidewinder? This is a snake that really lives up to its name, but do you know why it has this special quirk? For those of you who don't, or can't guess, this snake is able to go and move full on sideways in a pattern that's totally different from the usual slithery motion of snakes. They apparently can move like a typical snake, they just prefer not to for one reason or another. You know snakes, what can you do? The bigger question is why they do what they do. Why do they go and move around in a sideways shimmy like that? Well, the answer is that it's an adaptation to a fault of snakes, but what fault? Well, they aren't exactly the best at moving through desert sands, and their slithery motion exposes them, making it hard to get enough contact to move forward. This is where the side wending comes in because they're able to make minimal contact with the ground, and thus move across the desert sands without a whole lot of effort. Just as important, because they're barely touching the ground, they're not getting burned by the sand which is pretty cool, though you should still keep a distance from them because they are venomous albeit one that won't likely be able to kill you, bearing you not getting treated in a good amount of time. That is, we said, less venomous, not non-venomous. Number five, the African bush viper. Now we all know there are different kinds of snakes in the world, but when it comes to vipers, well, they're a different breed and usually you don't want to mess with them. For your own health and safety, you know, the African bush viper can be added to your list, but why? Well, not unlike many other snakes, this one has venom, and unlike a certain marble symbiote, this one doesn't cover you in a black goo and give you special powers. Rather, it's strong enough to actually kill you. Now, to be clear, I'm talking about if this snake bites you, a human, you will die. And that's an important distinction for the simple fact that sometimes a snake's venom can go and kill an animal, but only make a human sick. But this is not the case. Make no mistake though, the snake's venom is mostly used to go and subdue prey, all before consuming it, because well, it's a snake, and that's what snakes do. Another thing to be mindful of is that this snake has a pretty far reach for habitats. They can be in the jungles or areas with dense vegetation, and they're known to be on certain animal reserves as well. Unfortunately for all of us, they do prefer to come out and hunt at night, making them that much harder to avoid. In short, vipers really suck. Number four, thorny devil. I'd like to pause here and make a devil joke, but that's a low hanging fruit and I'm not a snake. One of the coolest things about the thorny devil is the fact that it's one of many creatures out there in the world right now that knows how to camouflage with its environment. It primarily goes and lives in the deserts of the continent via the outback and it'll have different shades of colors to blend into the sand and the ground. Just as cool though, and all puns intended, is that their colors will actually change with the weather. Meaning that when it's hot, they'll be one shade of color, and then when it's cold, they'll shift to another. Now, as for why they're thorny devils, the pictures you're seeing should paint a pretty clear picture about that. They're loaded with scales that are sharp for the sole reason that they have predators that would eat them easily if they didn't have them. But because of those scales, they can't touch this, get it, MC Hammer? And to further show off their boss quality, they have a false head. That's so they can use it to lure in predators who aren't that smart and then send them packing once they get too close. Kind of devilish, don't you think? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now. Now it's time for the sweet topic. How's this for a bargain? Two exotic reptiles for the price of one. On the left is a paradise flying snake and on the right is an African hairy bush viper. Both are amongst the most unique reptiles that we've ever seen. And when it comes to flying snakes, expert scientists still don't know how often or why they fly. But logic would suggest that they only do so when they need to escape predators to get technical. They don't actually fly, but glide. Still though, it's very unique. 
The African hairy bush viper, however, can't glide, but it's still a very unique creature. They're named in reference to the gorgeous keeled scales that coat over their bodies. They're semi-arboreal and are often known to climb trees, avoiding the ground. As always, comment down below with the hashtag sweet topic and let us know what you think in relation to what we just showed you on the screen. Number three, Rainbow Agama. Also known as the red-headed rock agama, this is another very special lizard out of the world and can be mostly found in Africa. So why are they known as rainbow agamas? Well, it could be that they have a bunch of colors on them. How does that sound? But all jokes aside, it is true that the rainbow agama has a lot of color going for it. If you look at the video, you'll see one with a very red head, hence its other name, and a color of shades of blue upon its body, but it also has a white belly, a striped tail, and more. Sometimes it even has patches of color across its body, and the males and females are different in how colored they are showing that the animal kingdom doesn't like to keep the same palette across its genders. Now you may think that because of their colorful style that these are pretty laid-back lizards, but don't be fooled. These lizards are legendary for their territorial disputes, and it's said that the men go and fight for territory all the time, which makes sense because they're males. Speaking of typical male behavior, the rainbow agama is known for having about a half dozen females in its group. You can make your own harem jokes here. And then there are subordinate males that can only take the top spot by killing the leader. Like I said, you know, typical male behavior. Number two, Komodo dragon. Now dragons are creatures of myth that many, many people wish were real and just as many are glad that they're mythological. But when it comes to the Komodo dragon, you see that there's much more to the myths than you may think, and almost wonder how close were we to the real thing. We say this not just because these are clearly very menacing creatures, but the fact that they're the biggest lizards in the world by far. The average Komodo dragon can get up to 10 feet in length and weigh up to 300 pounds, just like my ex-roommate Steve, which is frankly quite terrifying on its own. The lizard, not Steve, and then you factor in other things about this lizard and all of a sudden you have an apex predator that you don't want to screw around with, and that's definitely not Steve. For example, there's a heavy debate as to whether or not the Komodo dragon is venomous. Some say they have glands that secrete it, and others say that their saliva is what brings down foes. It's been discussed at length, and no side can dissuade the other. It also doesn't help that these lizards are incredibly aggressive, and have even been known to hunt in groups. So, you know, you want your own dragon. Just take our advice. Skip out on this one. You'll end up living longer. Number one, Gariol. Now at first you may think, what is a Gariol? But the answer will make you remember that this is a very special kind of crocodilian that lives in Asia. It's incredibly exotic not for its body per se, but its mouth because when you think of a crocodile or alligator. You may think about the wide mouths that they have that they use to bite down on prey and refuse to let them go, but with the gorilla, it's a little bit different. Karyal's formidable looking jaws are actually specialized for catching fish. They have a long, thin mouth that is quite unique compared to its brethren just as unique is that while many other crocs or alligators will happily go on land, the bodies of the gharial are honestly not that suited to do so. They'll go and stay in the waters for most of their lives unless they want sunbathe and sunbathe. They do so deal with it getting back to their mouths and noses. They have this as an adaptation for when they want to go and eat. You see, they do prefer fish, and so they'll go underwater, just enough so that the fish won't really sense any kind of danger, and then it snaps its mouth down and swallows the fish full. That's right, eat it whole. Why waste time and effort when you can just eat it in one shot? I mean, that's my dream. That's all from the realm of exotic reptiles. Were you amazed by how incredible some of them were? Did you honestly know about some of them before coming and watching the video? Which ones would you want to see up close, and which do you think would make the best pet? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.